If you're lucky enough to go to Champagne and go to the main city in Champagne, which is Reims, you cannot miss the name Pommery. It's everywhere. I'm Hugh and Hook, and you're watching The Real Review. When you go to the place itself, it has this massive gateway with the name Pommery in enormous lettering. It's, uh, it really shouts its presence. The wine we're going to taste today is Pommery Grand Cru Brut Royale 2008. So it's a single vintage wine, 2008, a great vintage by the way. And Grand Cru means that the grapes all came from vineyards that were rated Grand Cru. And in Champagne that means that on the, on the ladder of pricing and, and, and classification they are 100%. In other words, the price that is set down for Champagne grapes every year the growers who have 100% rated vineyards get paid 100% of the price. If you're not Grand Cru, you don't get 100% of the price. Simple. Okay, let's have a, a look at it. Very active bubbles. And the nose is really complex. It's got toasty bread, brioche, um, pastry kinds of aromas to it. Um, but there's also the herbal things there. There's a touch of um, freshly chopped parsley. There's some lemongrass. There are those sorts of aromas. A bit of thyme even, perhaps. Let's have a taste. Mm. And that is a wine that really fills the mouth with flavour. That's terrific. Yes, intensity of flavour, but also softness, liveliness from the acidity and the, and the bubbles, of course, and the length of palate. This is one thing that typifies Grand Cru wines is that they have great length. In other words, the flavour has persistence. It doesn't disappear quickly. It goes on and on and on. And the, the longer that wine's flavour persists in the mouth, the more the drying aftertaste comes in. And the drying aftertaste is to do with the acidity. 08 was a high acid year. The wines are never deficient in acidity from 08. Very, very good wine. How do we rate it? We rate it at 96 out of 100. So it's a, you know, a pretty high class wine, you have to say. $150, it's not cheap, but that's the sort of price that you pay for a very, very good vintage champagne. <music> The dish that I'd recommend having with this wine is a Japanese dish. It's um, miso yakitori chicken. In other words, the chicken pieces are marinated in miso, they're threaded on a skewer and grilled. That would be just sensational with this wine. Good health. If you've enjoyed this, follow us and subscribe to The Real Review.